Hey there, Internet. I've got a, a thought that I wanted to share, something that's kind of been on my heart for the past few days, and uh, it revolves around the ideas of grace and truth. You know, as a, as a Christian, I'm a Christian, uh, and as a uh, pursuer of Christ, one of the um, topics that gets discussed from time to time is grace and truth. So you have grace on one hand and you have truth on the other and of course grace allows for imperfection truth of course is the truth about the word of god and the truth about the gospel and the truth about pursuing holiness there's all sorts of truths associated with the truth side and there's all sorts of things associated with the grace side that uh, god's grace through his son jesus is enough so and there, and there are people, there are different denominations, there are different movements that focus on one or the other, that focus on grace or focus on truth. And I find it interesting when these worlds kind of collide, because grace and truth can kind of duke it out, if you will. So case in point, if you're not familiar with Snoop Dogg, uh, Snoop is a professing Christian and has released a Christian album. And there are some people that are blowing their absolute minds about the idea of Snoop Dogg releasing a gospel album. And so I was kind of perusing YouTube and Twitter and these people are just so upset that that Snoop would release a gospel album. How in the world could he release a gospel album from their perspectives? Because there's no way on God's green earth that he is a Christian. After all, he still promotes cannabis use and he's still you know, he still has all this stuff in his history. And there were the, I, one particular video that struck me was a guy that said, how could Snoop be a Christian when he has done, insert the blank here. I'll just leave you to your imagination if you know much about Snoop and his past. But the question graded against my grace and it actually graded against my truth. Because what the guy was saying, that there is no way that Snoop could be a Christian because of the things he's done in the past. I want you to think about that for a moment. As a Christian who absolutely depends on the saving grace of Jesus, that your past is not counted against you, that it is as far from the east as from the west, But here a person is looking at someone who is now exploring Christianity saying there's no way that person can be a Christian because of the things he's done. My friends, that's not that is about as far from the gospel as you can get. And if you have ever had anybody speak into your life that you can't move in a new direction because of the things you've done, if you ever have anybody that tells you that you have to do A and B and C and D to be considered a Christian, I want you to forget that stuff. Because none of us, none of us, all of us fall short of the glory of God. All of us are imperfect. All of us are sinful people. So therefore, none of us can clean our acts up well enough to come to Christ. You know, I, I, there's, a, there's an expression that people say, you know, I need, to, I need to fix my life up and get right with God. That's the wrong order. Go ahead and get right with God and let him work on that stuff. And so to the people that are hating on Snoop Dogg, maybe he doesn't live the Christian lifestyle that I would like to see, but you know what? He doesn't have to live the life that I want to see. He doesn't have to live up to my expectations. And the truth of the matter is, if I expect Snoop Dogg to live up to my expectations, then I have to expect that of everybody around me and I also have to allow for the idea that I have to live up to other ex- other people's expectations. Wow, aren't you glad that isn't how it works? So we need to get our gospel in the right order, and uh, we need to understand that there is no place in the Bible where it says, I'm the one that makes the decision on who is a Christian and who isn't. So there's your thought for today. I want to thank you for watching this, and I hope you are blessed today.